Hi, today we'll be discussing ratio and proportion. What is ratio and what is proportion? The ratio of A to B is the quotient A divided by B. That is, the fraction A over B. The ratio may also be written as A is to B. That is ratio. A proportion is a statement that two ratios are equal. Okay, so ratio and proportion. Proportion tells the two ratios are equal. For example, we have A over B is equal to C over D. And B and C are the means. They are called means. A and D are the extremes. So don't forget that B and C are the means. A and D are the extremes. Okay? In ratio and proportion, we'll be discussing direct variation, inverse variation, and joint variation. Okay? What is direct variation? When we say direct variation, two variables are directly related. We have here y is directly proportional to x. If y goes up, then x goes up. If y goes down, then x goes down because they are directly proportional. And what is k? k is the constant of variation or the constant of proportion. Okay? Inverse variation. y is inversely proportional to x. If y goes up, then x goes down. If y goes down, then x goes up because they are inverse inversely proportion and k is still the constant of variation in joint variation we have here y is directly proportional to the square of x and inversely proportional to the square root of z if y goes up x squared goes up while the square root of z goes down if y goes down x squared goes down, and the square root of z goes up. Okay? Those are the three variations we'll be discussing in ratio and proportion. For example, number one, if y varies as x and is equal to 6 when x is equal to 5, find the value of y when x is equal to 10. Okay? So this is direct variation. Y is equal to k of x and y is 6 if x is 5 okay so we have k equal to 6 over 5 and then if x is equal to 10 what is y y is equal to k x and y is equal to 6 over 5 times x which is 10 y now is equal to 60 over 5 or 10 and 5 that will become 2 therefore y is equal to 12 i hope you can follow example number two if y varies as the square of x and is equal to 2 when x is equal to 6 what is the value of y when x is equal to 9 and equal to 4 okay y bar is directly as the square of x okay if y is 2 then what is k if x is equal to 6 okay so k from here is equal to 1 over 18 okay so that is our k now if x is 9, what is y? y is equal to kx squared. And y is equal to 1 over 18 times 9 squared. Okay, so we have y equal to 9 over 2. Our y is 9 over 2 if x is equal to 9. Then, if x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 1 over 18 times 4 squared. 
and y is equal to 16 over 18. And lowest term of this is 8 over 9. That is our y. Example number 3. If y varies inversely as the square root of x and is equal to 1 third when x is equal to 9, what is the value of y when x is equal to 16? So y varies inversely as the square root of x. Okay? So y is 1 third if x is equal to 9. Okay? We have k equal to 1 third times the square root of 9. So we have k equal to 3 over 3 or equal to 1. Then what is y if what is y if x is equal to 16? Then we have y equal to 1 over the square root of 16 is 4. Therefore, y is 1 fourth if x is equal to 16. I hope you can follow. Example number 4. The quantity z varies jointly as x and y has the value of 15 when x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 10. Find the value of z when x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 2. Okay, so this is joint variation. Let us solve for k. It says z varies jointly as x and y. So z has a value of 15 if x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 10. Okay? Therefore, we have k from here equal to 15 over 16, that is 1 fourth. Okay? So, let us solve the value of z when x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 2. Okay, z is equal to 1 fourth of x, which is 8, and y is equal to 2. Therefore, z is equal to 1 fourth of 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, 16 divided by 4 is 4. Therefore, z is equal to 4. I hope you can follow. Did you learn something? Please share and subscribe. Thank you.